You're kidding. Little punk tries to throw me off a train. We get into a fight and he falls off. Cops ask me why I did a thing like that. I tell them why. For three hours, I tell them why. They don't believe me. Hey everyone, it's Francesco here. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a feature on the map. So what I wanted to do is I saw a feature by a lot of YouTubers out there um, about their Macs and obviously showcasing some of the applications that they're using across their day. So what I wanted to do is run over some of the Mac applications that I'm running. Um, and it might be quite interesting because I've come from using a Chromebook for about three years um, and then moving to a Mac in the space of three months. So let's get stuck in. As you can see, this is my sort of dashboard. Um, obviously, I view it like this during my day, but this is a good way to see uh, everything. Obviously, I use all of the basic Apple applications every now and then, like iMovie, FaceTime, uh, maybe even, actually, no, I, I just use those and, and then the App Store. Um, I use the uh, Quick Move Time player to actually record my videos uh, most of the time, so they're really the extent of the uh, basic applications that I use. My favorite application I would say on this uh, Mac is Evernote. Uh, it's really impressive. The one thing that I've noticed by using it is a very simple structure. So as you can see, the shortcuts are on the left hand side. You've got notes and notebooks down here. I really like the design uh, and it works amazingly offline. One of the things that I really enjoy is the actual design of the notebooks panel. You can obviously view it like that, but you can have it like that and it looks great. It looks proper notebook old school which is really good fun. Up in the top right hand corner obviously there's the uh, famous taskbar at the top so you can actually uh, clip the screen, clip a window in the screen or even start and stop recordings. I tend to use this when I want to make quick notes for a meeting or a lecture or something like that and then I can save it directly into Evernote and because I've got a neat inbox set up in Evernote uh, everything gets filtered into there. So again, a really handy experience to use uh, and I really enjoy this Mac application. The next one, obviously my default browser is Chrome. I also use Firefox, but that's also combined with some work efforts. Todoist is my sort of, again, I'd say the first place for the best Mac application. Uh, it's really simple. The one thing I love about it is it works so well offline. Uh, it, it does the job really smoothly uh, when I sync between my phone and my Mac it's very fast and very smooth. The other thing I like about it is the uh, quick add bar. You can obviously access that via the shortcut, but I'm using this across my day. Whatever field and whatever window I'm in, I will just jump on it and add a few tasks. It obviously reacts to intelligent input too, so you can add anything uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, feed the cat, a regular item for uh, my day. Um, but as you can imagine, it does uh, access all of that and you can obviously do that and it goes straight into your Todoist, which is pretty handy. So obviously I use Spotify as my default uh, music application. Obviously you can, on Spotify, you can download the uh, application here and then actually download the playlists, uh, which work really well. So I was actually impressed by that. I didn't realize you could do that. I don't know why I didn't realize I could do that. Uh, obviously I've got some default Microsoft applications. I've got Microsoft Outlook, OneNote, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, and Word, uh, just for reference. Um, down here, I've got a very interesting application that I think a lot of people should use. Grammarly is an application which I've been using for quite a while. I've actually been a premium user too because I've really enjoyed it. Um, over here, you can actually add in all of your, so I do this for coursework or any text that I want, even articles. I type them up here or I type them up on Word or even Evernote, and then I just dump everything here. Um, and once you dump them, you can actually see, actually I'll just go over to my uh, university work and give you a dem quick demonstration. So, one, so once you're in the actual thing here, you can, it, it gives you a score down in the bottom corner, but it checks all of the pieces of work and gives you advanced and non-critical non, uh, issues that you need to fix. It gives you advice on like repetitive words, it gives you like clients, it would allow you to change it. But the real features are obviously you can get a contextual spelling, you can see the grammar, and you can see all the style. You can also have a plagiarism, which it will rank it against other sites. So it does give you vocabulary enhancement as well, so you can actually go pretty deep. I use this across my day, and I find it really handy. I've also got the Chrome Web Store extension, which is good. Escape is also a very interesting application that I've been checking out. Uh, basically what it does is it 
calculates your interruptions and the distance between those interruptions and helps you improve your productivity. You can see I got interrupted 65 times um, in the space of today in 10 minute distances. Uh, you can also log the websites that you actually count as distractions. So I should really take YouTube off because I use YouTube quite a lot, both for my personal and also for work a lot of the time. There's also a stats page so you can actually compare each site based on last week and see how you're improving, created by the guys at Focus List as well. I've got the Twitter application here which does uh, play, uh, it's actually pretty helpful for when you're sort of using it on the go and you just want to jump into a, uh, it's a good way to communicate, uh, it jumps out as well so you can actually have little windows, uh, it's a very neat application to have. Over on this page, I've also got Newton as my default email experience. Uh, it's one of my favorite applications. As you guys know, I work at Newton. I really enjoy the application. It's something that is being used by myself every single day. I probably It's probably on par with Todoist as one of my most used applications. It has some amazing features. The one thing I really enjoy about it is obviously the send later, uh, notify when read, so it actually pops up when the other person has read it. So over here, I've got Skype, I've got Pocket as well, two applications I use sort of occasionally. Gift Brewery is another one, an uh, impressive application where you can basically uh, create GIFs from some of your MP4s or even GIFs themselves. Um, an impressive application. I've been using it for quite a while. You can add overlays, frames as well, and even calculate the count, uh, the frame count and delay. Down here, I've got Rescue Time. Obviously, that helps you analyze your productivity across your day. So I have the Chrome web browser installed too, so up here I can actually detect, okay, spent four hours on here, 63% product. Bear is another application that I reviewed separately. It's a really handy note, uh, uh, way to take notes, sorry. Um, so if I want to take lecture notes across my day, then I can add them here. It looks great, uh, it works really smoothly, and there are some amazing, uh, amazingly different and intricate uh, formatting, so it makes everything look really smooth. Actually one best application on Mac, uh, of the year and also on iOS too, so it's obviously doing a very good job. The other thing here is obviously Wunderlist, I use that occasionally. Spark, I've actually got to try out, and Clean Google Calendar. So the weird thing is I have found this application the other day and I'm really enjoying the experience. It makes Google Calendar for web look less rubbish. Uh, I think I'll be doing a review on this very soon. Uh, my default application though, for calendar application uh, on the Mac is Fantastica 2. I think the experience is really great. One thing I really enjoy is being able to type in stuff at 1 p.m. and actually have it automatically, natural language feed into my calendar. So I can actually uh, go on a run like that and it'll add it straight to it and it looks great once it's added and you've got this brilliant feed down the left hand side. So the whole experience on Mac so far I'm really enjoying. Uh, I, I love all these applications up here and obviously the ability to access everything offline is a real bonus from using a Chromebook. Anyway guys, I thought this would be quite useful for you. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. Let me know what Mac applications you're using. I'd love to get some recommendations from you so I can download some and have a play. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive and have a fantastic Christmas. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.